In this video, I'm gonna make a complete ripoff of this award-winning portfolio website. And I'm gonna make it look easy because as you'll see with Framer, it is easy. We will focus on the top section. And if we watch this section closely on film, we will see that it's mainly a bunch of image elements floating around. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go to Hannah's website and I will start ripping it apart. I'm sorry, Hannah. I'm gonna try to find all the elements. Oh, uh, here we see an element. I'm gonna click that up. So we have the head. I'm gonna do this for every single element. All right, so now I've collected all this stuff. Now we're gonna start putting together just the graphics of the website. I'm gonna take this grainy background, maybe increase the size a bit, gonna create this yellow frame that Hannah had, remove the white, add a border, try to pick the correct color for the border. And I'm gonna take the logo piece here, place it in the top. I'm gonna take this little flower, place the flower in the bottom, text goes in the bottom left. Now I'm gonna just decrease the height a bit, placing the head in the middle. We cannot forget the mushrooms. Place the head above the mushrooms, place the circle in here, put it behind the stuff, and the flower goes here. Holy darn, I realized I forgot something. We forgot the snail. There he is, maybe something like this. Time for the fun stuff. Let's see what happens here. First of all, we have the butterfly. So the butterfly flies across the screen and it flaps its wings. So how do we achieve that? In Framer, you have this cool loop animation that we can add by just going to effects, loop. Now with this loop animation, we can achieve exactly what Hannah does on her website. Check this out. Hit mirror, we will go to 3D here and we'll change not the C axis, but the Y axis. You can see how it just flaps like this. A happy butterfly. Let's see how it looks. Oh, it's flapping. Copy effects, paste effects to the right wing. But for this one, we're gonna have plus 40. Now let's play it. Beautiful, we have a flapping butterfly. Now, a flapping butterfly is nothing without the ability to fly. So let's see if we can make it fly too. So here, we're gonna use the same effect, a loop. We'll once again mirror it because remember from the video, it goes up into the right and then goes back down the same way. So mirror, we're gonna make sure that it flies across the screen. So I'll just bump this up and then bump it outside. Now, here we need to change the transition though, because if we just have it for one second, that is one fast butterfly, if you ask me. So let's change it from one second to 10 seconds. And there we have our flying butterfly. Now let's take a look at our tape again. So we have the head spinning back and forth like this. Let's fix that. Go to effects, loop. We're gonna change it from 360 to 20. No, minus 20, no, minus 10. Change the time a bit, maybe two seconds, let's see. Oh, we forgot something, the mirror. Now it goes back and forth smoothly. So we have the head, we have the butterfly. Let's take the snail. The snail just rotates too. So we add another loop effect to the snail. We'll grab the mushrooms and once again, we'll loop those suckers and there we have it. Now you might be asking yourself, didn't you forget something? And yes, I did. The text in the middle, like the heading. So let's add the text. Hi, I'm Hannah. And another one that we bump up in size, I make things. Change the font, push them both up a bit. I'm gonna push down the size of this text again because I'm never satisfied. Now this looks fine, but we don't have the appear animation for the text. Effects, appear, fade in, transition, ease, maybe a bit of a delay. That looks fine, I guess. Now, if we just revisit the video quickly, here we'll see that, hi, I'm Hannah, kind of gets masked from the bottom. How do we achieve that? Let me show you. We put this in a box. We make sure that the box hides everything that is outside of the box. We go to the text, hit effects, on up here, slide in bottom, give it a bit of a delay, and voila, not too bad considering we did it in a couple of minutes and it's a real live website. Now, if you want to create websites like this, check out my Framer playlist where I teach everything I know about the tool. Until the next one, have a great life.